Today's math lesson is in Unit 6, lesson number 12. Throughout this lesson, we will be practicing ungrouping and asking how many times did we need to ungroup. Let's go ahead and get started. The first problem for today is 418 minus 247. After we're finished solving the problem, we're going to come over to the question to answer how many times did we need to ungroup. Sometimes we only need to ungroup once. It might be twice. Sometimes we might not need to ungroup at all. Each problem will be different from the problem before. Let's go ahead and get started solving the problem. As always, we start in the ones place. Eight minus seven. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did I need to ungroup for that one? No, I did not because eight is bigger than seven. Let's go to the tens place. One minus four. Can I have one and give you four? No, I cannot. So we do need to ungroup one of our hundreds and let's turn that one into an 11. So we have 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And last in the hundreds place, we have three minus two. Three, two, one. 171. Now we can answer our question. So how many times did we need to go to our neighbor to get more. Did I need any more ones? No, I did not. Did I need more tens? Yes, I did. So I only needed to ungroup once in this problem. Let's try the next problem. 195 minus 82. Let's start in the ones to subtract. Five, four, three. Do I need to get any more ones? No, I don't, because five is bigger than two. Let's go to the tens. Nine minus eight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do I need any more tens? No, I don't. And last, I have 100 with no number underneath, so I can just pull it straight down. So did I need to ungroup at all in this problem? Let's look up at the top. I have no ungroupings. That means that over on my line, I'm going to write none. I did not need to ungroup at all. You could also write zero as our number word, but we didn't need to ungroup for this problem. Problem number three. 601 minus 368. As always, we start in the ones. One minus eight. Can I do that? No, I can't, but look at my neighbor next door. They don't have any, so that means I need to start ungrouping with my hundreds. If my neighbor can't give me any, then I'm gonna have to go over to the other neighbor. Now I ungroup that hundred, that gives me 10 tens. But I need to make sure my ones are happy too. So let's take one of those tens away and give it to the ones place. Now we can subtract. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, another 3. And 5, 4, 3, 2. 233. Now let's take a look and see which numbers needed more. Did I need more ones? Yes, I did. Did I need more tens? Yes, I did. And I can stop there because I don't have any thousands, so I can't get any more hundreds. The hundreds just gave away to the tens. So two times or twice, did I need to ungroup in this problem? It's funny because the last problem, I did not need to ungroup at all. But in this problem, I needed to ungroup twice. 329 
minus 92. Now in this problem, you can see that the bottom number does not have any hundreds. So I lined them up, making sure that the ones were lined up and the tens were lined up. That's very important anytime we subtract. Let's do nine minus two first. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, no one grouping needed. What about two minus nine? Can I do that? No, I can't. So let's go next door to one of our hundreds to get 10 more tens. Let's do 12 minus nine. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And I have two hundreds with no hundreds under it, so I can just pull it straight down. So let's take a look. Did I need any more ones? No, I didn't. Did I need more tens? Yes, I did. So I only needed to ungroup once for this problem. And the last practice problem here today for our video. 750 minus 251. Let's take a look. Over in the ones place, we have zero minus one. That means I had none and I need to give one away. Can I do that? No, I can't. So I need to go over to the tens to get 10 more ones. 10 minus one gives me nine. Now let's go to the tens. Four minus five. Can I do that? No, I can't. That means I need to ungroup 100 to give me 14 tens. Now let's subtract 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And last is 6 minus 2. 6, 5, 4. 499 is my answer. Now let's check at the top to answer our question. Did I need more ones? Yes, I did. Did I need more tens? Yes, I did. So that means for this problem, I needed to ungroup twice.